lions, hay bales, coral bells, and beehives. What do they all have in common? They're yellow. And yellow is the only color I can build with in Minecraft. Let's go find out what kind of house we're building today. Our beautiful rainbow wheel will decide plot size, amount of rooms, what rooms, amount of floors, and style. Starting with the plot size, the wheel will give us 15 by 30. Now, how many rooms will be in this house? This time, the wheel will decide seven. Okay, but what will each room be? Our first room is a bathroom. Our second room is a kitchen. For the third room, the wheel will give us a bedroom. Next, we'll have a storage room. The fifth room in this yellow house is gonna be a pet room. The sixth room is gonna be a living room. And our final spin is gonna give us a portal room. Now, how many floors will this house have? Will it be short or will it be tall? The wheel will give us two. I love the number two. But okay, the final spin is style. This time, our house is gonna be basic. Okay, the wheel has decided. Today, we're building a basic two-floor house on a 15 by 30 plot with seven rooms. Okay, now when I think of basic, I think of less detail. So instead of stairs and slabs for a roof, I just use full blocks. But yeah, so this is the house. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of the color yellow, but this is actually kind of cute. Probably because uh, I put a giant star window above the entrance. But anyway, let me show you around. Starting on the right side of the build, we have some stairs over here that go up to this like top deck porch kind of area, balcony thing. Uh, the words are hard. But I was thinking that this could be a really cool portal room area. I know it's not an enclosed space kind of room, but I have a fun idea for it that might be kind of cute. So uh, yeah, this is where the portal room is gonna go. Then if we head back down this way and go inside, this is what we see. So on the left, this is gonna be a kitchen. I forgot to add some windows. That's my bad, I'll fix that. <laughs> but yeah, this will be the kitchen. And then I figured our storage room could be right off of the kitchen, kind of like a pantry across from from the kitchen, we'll have a living room, and then right off of this living space will be a bathroom. Then if we go up the main stairs, this is gonna lead us to a pet room, and then over here is a bedroom. Look at the cute little balcony! We can like look out over the whole house. I don't know, I think that's cool, but okay. I think this time I wanna start decorating outside. Well, kind of outside. It is outside. We're going over there to the portal room. Now, because the color I have to build with is yellow, um, I'm obviously not gonna use a regular nether portal. We're gonna make a pretend portal. It's not gonna be a functioning real portal, but it's gonna be yellow. Also, the reason why I want to put this room over here is because I want to use these sunny blossom saplings. I don't know what this looks like, but I'm hoping it's cute. I had this idea to plant a tree and then have like a portal come out of the tree or something like that. First of all, I'm gonna need to temporarily um, make this grass. That way we can grow this tree and hope that it's tall. Oh, whoa. <gasps> That's so cute. But we're gonna have to change the color of these logs. Ta-da. <gasps> Look what I found. I was looking for yellow things um, for uh, a pretend portal. And yes, we obviously have yellow glass, but we also have yellow crystals and these glow. There's also a full block and it gives off magical particle effects. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, okay, I did a thing. I don't know if it's a good thing, but um, I made this. It's, it's like a magical yellow tree portal thing? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I added a bunch of these crystals everywhere. I put some fuzzy carpet on the ground, and I also brought some of the leaves down from the tree to make it look more, like, fancy. <laughs> what do you think? I kind of like our magical portal tree. It's mysterious. But okay, time to decorate the inside. For the kitchen, we can start by adding a bunch of counters, but this time I want to kind of loop it around a little bit, like this. Then instead of this one in the middle, we could have a sink. Next to that, we could have our pretend stove or dishwasher. On the right, we could have a fridge. And then on top of that, we can have some cabinets. On either side, I thought it could be fun to add some shelves. Then in the middle of the room, 
we can add an island, some stools, and above we can add some lights. Over by the sink, we could add some carpet. We could pretend these gold pressure plates are actual plates. Then over here, we could have some flowers, a bowl of golden apples, and on the island, we can have a banana, an egg, and a wheel of cheese. Now, if you noticed, I did do a little something under the stairs because I had this awkward little space. It's not a room. It doesn't count as a room in the house, but like it was just a weird spot. So I did go ahead and add some drawers, a lamp, a clock, and a flower. Moving on to the storage room that I'm gonna be pretending is a pantry to our kitchen. We can start by adding some drawers along this wall, some drawers over here. Then on top of these drawers, we can add a bunch of these cupboards. Above the cupboards, we can add some slabs. And then above the slabs, we can add some bookshelves. We could add a little bit of carpet on the floor. And then in these two open spaces, we could add a bunch of item frames. For the living room, we could put a TV on this back wall. We could have some of these yellow basket cubbies underneath. Then on top, we could have some flowers. And then surrounding this entertainment area, we can have some bookshelves. As you can tell from the posts on the ceiling, we're gonna add some more lights. On this wall, we can display some pretty flower boxes. And then we can add some couches. Between these two, we can have some light yellow carpet. And then because I don't really have a lot of space for end tables and lamps, I was thinking that behind this couch, we could add a little drawer unit table that could hold our lamp. We could have some pretty flowers on display. And and some candles. For the bathroom, I wanna start by adding a mirror to the wall and below that we could have our sink and a little counter. Around the mirror, we obviously have to have our vanity lights. Over by this wall, we can make a tub out of some trap doors again. Add a button for the faucet and then fill the tub with water. Again, because I don't have any colored toilets, we're gonna have to pretend that we have a colored toilet by using an upside down stair and a trap door. We'll pretend this button is toilet paper. We'll add a carpet by the sink. And of course, because there's windows in here, we gotta add some blinds. Now that the bottom floor is done, there's only two rooms left to decorate. First, we'll work on the pet room, and then we'll finish with my bedroom. For the pet room, I wanted to add some hay bales in the corner over here and over here. Then on the floor, we could just mix match a bunch of different carpets together. We could put a food bowl over here, a yellow creeper plushie over here, and then we can spawn in our sheep. <gasps> Hi! Oh, Squimmy, little beautiful fluffy friend, your room is up here. Uh, hi. <laughs> One second. Uh, hello? What? What are you doing in the bathroom? Come here, silly. You can explore the house later, you can go outside, but for now, I want you to see your new bedroom. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at my little yellow sheep. Here, be free. Are you having fun sitting on your creeper toy? Is that what you think of creepers? Just gonna put your butt in their face? Yeah? Nice. Well, anyway, on to the bedroom. First, we can add a dotted yellow headboard under the star window. Then we could put a bed in the middle, surrounded by some... Oh. Hello. Did you want to hang out with me in here? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> My little sheep friend wants to hang out with me. <gasps> you are so adorable. Ah, oh, I love you. But, okay, hold on. We gotta finish doing this. Gonna put some slabs around the bed. Then on either side, we can have a bedside table with a lamp. Instead of doing dressers in here, because I feel like that might take up too much space, we could just have some bookshelves on either side of the bed. And then I actually really like the mixed matched carpet over in my sheep's little pet room. So all around the bed, we can do that too. On this back part of the bed, we could add a little yellow dandelion flower. And I want a yellow creeper plushie too. What do you think? Did I do a good job? Yeah, do you like it? <gasps> Thank you. Oh, you're gonna go you're gonna go now. Okay, bye. Okay, well now that I've finished decorating the yellow house, it's time for a tour. Starting on the outside of the build, this is what it looks like. If we go to the right, we have our amazing, beautiful, mysterious, and magical yellow portal room. As we go inside, on our left, we have our kitchen with, um, 
our bananas and our eggs and our cheese. Mm -hmm. Next to the kitchen, we have our storage room pantry area with all of our food and yellow blocks. <laughs> Under the stairs, we have this little bonus area. Across from the kitchen, we have the living room and I actually really like this one. I really like these little cubby boxes and the books going around the TV. We've got some plants on the wall, some cute yellow couches and a bunch of other yellow decor. Right off the living room, we have our yellow bathroom with the essentials like toilets and sinks and bathtubs. <laughs> then as we go upstairs, we have my yellow sheep in their pet room. And right next to that, we have the bedroom. If you've been following this color series, I feel like it's hard to pick a favorite house. At least for me, every time I build one, it's like my new favorite. Even though I mentioned earlier that yellow isn't my most favorite color. I actually really like this house. Let me know what you think. Which house do you like the best so far? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.